So there guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are still here at Carpentry Camp. Um, we, what time is it? 8.010. Okay, we are going to be heading home today uh, or tomorrow. Basically, we're going to start making decisions about what we're taking home with us uh, and how much weight we can carry. We've got a long way to go, is the thing. We don't want to take too much crap, however, we do want to take as much useful stuff as we can, basically. Um, we're going to go get our big hiking bag. I don't, fuck about sh I don't know why I'm trying to shut the doors. <laughs> it's not like it fucking matters in the slightest. Uh, let's head over here and check out the hiking bag. Right, we have in the hiking bag two axes, two crowbars, two trials and a watering can. There's also a flashlight. Maybe we don't need the flashlight. It seemed like a good idea briefly when it was dark, um, but then that rapidly decided to not be such of an issue. Uh, we've got another crowbar there. And then hammer, hunting knife. Yeah, this is all good stuff. This is all good stuff. We've obviously got the saw as well. That wants to go in the hiking bag. The nails technically don't weigh anything, so that's fine. Uh, and the crowbar is going to want equipping as a weapon, so the hammer can go in the bag as well. And then we can equip that. Right, let's equip that. And then we'll grab the hiking bag. And equip that as well. How are we doing? 10, 10 19 out of 12. So we can carry another kilo and a half, roughly. Okay, let's go have another look through these warehouses out here and see if there's anything else that we want to take home with us that we feel would be useful. Um, I guess stuff like nails would be good. At this point, we probably want some garbage bags. Um, I feel like grabbing those is probably a good idea. Uh, if you wonder where we want the garbage bags, we will eventually need them to make rain barrels, like to line the rain barrels with. Um, so taking them now could be quite handy, because they're a pain in the ass to go collect later. Because right now I'm thinking, when we get home, we're going to do a lot of carpentry and start prepping for gardening. Um, so we're going to want... I'm not going to take individual nails, but if we find another box of them, that would be quite handy, I guess. Uh, do I want to take seeds? I think we've got seeds, haven't we? And we can always come back here for stuff like seeds. I mainly want to make sure we've got the things we need to do some home improvement when we get back. Uh, wire. I don't think we need wire. I'm thinking stuff like nails. Nails are something we definitely need a lot of. I don't think we need sandbags. Batteries and planks. Box of nails. We'll take a box. Uh, I don't want the shotgun. Even though it seems like it would be a good thing, it's really not that good. We've got plenty of hammers. I think we already looted the place of all the useful crowbars. Nails, paper clips. That's a damaged crowbar. A golf club, which we're not interested in. This is our sort of last looting session before we head home proper. Uh, I'll take the glue. I don't know if... I don't know if it's just wood glue we need, or whether standard glue lets us repair weapons as well, but I think anything that helps us repair weapons is probably going to be handy. There is another trowel. Do these actually take damage? I don't think they do. I don't think they take damage. I don't think we need to keep taking more trowels home. As good as they are, I don't think we need them. 
Let's just sledgehammer. Wood glue. I'm pretty sure wood glue is handy. I'm going to take the duct tape as well. Another box of nails. Another trowel. Another trowel. Another trowel. Fucking hell, there's trowels everywhere in this place. So if we do, if it turns out we do need some, we can always come back and get them, but I really don't think we do. How much weight are we on? 10.6. We're getting peckish. I'm more worried about the, the walk home and how long it is. I don't know what the, I don't know what to do because we could we could walk all the way back through the locking camp. I feel like if we take the day to loot, we could walk back from here, remember, through to the actual logging camp itself, uh, and then from the logging camp we could spend the night there and leave as early as possible in the morning. That might be a good idea. Nothing too good there. There's another watering can. They are pretty handy, actually. I'm going to grab that. That puts us up to 11. I'm going to drink a couple of times. I'm going to eat my chips. We can also raid the vending machine before we go, just to get some last bit of food. There's another box of nails. That's good. Okay, we've got three boxes of nails. I feel like that's going to be helpful when we get home. There's another sledgehammer there. I don't know if you can actually do anything specific with the sledgehammer, you know? Or whether it's... Because you are supposed to be able to break down doors. Remember when we tried to break down our way into that lockup by trying to break through the walls? You are supposed to be able to do that, as far as I know. Uh, obviously, we couldn't manage to figure it out. Don't any of this shit. Don't, was that another box of nails? Yes, okay. 10.93, we're getting there. I feel like we could probably leave a trowel behind if we find anything else that we really want to take. Although it doesn't look like there's anything else particularly useful here. I think we're pretty much done. So many trowels. Who'd have thought that this place had so many trowels been a logging camp? I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. But they've got more trowels than they've got fucking axes. Right, that's it. We're done. Let's get out of here. Uh, right. We're coming 10.93. We need to go hit the... What's the... What else is over here? Nothing, really. I think, well, I think if we remember, we couldn't get into them, could we? Um, so we need to go... Let's go eat what's in the vending machine. Was there a vending machine in here? I think there was, wasn't there, in the break room? Not that one. And this one? Yeah. Uh, orange soda. Oh. oh, no, we must have eaten what was in there. Oh, there's a fridge, though. Oh, there we go. Let's... There's a worm. How gross. Um, let's eat an apple. And a lemon. And let's take a pineapple with us. Okay, that's pretty good. Right, let's start making our way back. We'll get this at least as far as the logging camp. I'm going to shut this door so that this place remains safe. 
And then if we wish to come back, we can do. Uh, what else do we need to do? There was nothing else in here that we wanted to loot, I don't think. We could have a quick look around. There is another crowbar, actually. Can we get away with taking another crowbar? The bag is full. Oh, the fertilizer as well. I wanted the fertilizer. Oh, God, that's heavy, and that's only because we're fed that we can even carry that. I guess we might have to get rid of something. We could get rid of one trowel at the very least. Let's drop a trowel. How full is the bag? I don't know. Can we move the fertilizer to the hiking bag? I mean, we can carry a heavy load. It's not the end of the world. 12.63. It's not terrible. And once we eat the pineapple, I'll be 12.33. What was that? Oh, was it just the sound of the bushes? Uh, where do we go from here? Is it up this side? I think it's up this side. Let me zoom out a bit. It's been a while since we've gone back this way. We've been here for so long, we've actually got to find the way back home. Which is worrying. This looks like the right place. we open the portal potty? Is there anything in there? No. <laughs> you never know. thought maybe there might have been something in there. This place is full of logs as well, so like, again, an ideal place to do a spot of the old carpentry. Uh, have we any garbage bags here? We have. They don't weigh much, so we can get away with taking them. Our guy's exerted, but that's okay. We are carrying a slightly heavier load than he would normally like to carry. But that's not a huge problem. Uh, I'm wondering whether we should drop the hiking bag off and clear some zombies out of the way of the path. Not necessarily go all the way home, but like just have a bit of a fight. And then come back and spend the night here, maybe. Uh, just so we're not wasting the daylight hours, mainly. That's about as much as we're going to get garbage bag-wise. Is that a sleepable chair? It is. Okay. So we can spend the night in there. Which is fine. Um... Do I want to drop the hiking bag here and then fight some guys? Or shall we just take the hiking bag with us? Let's just take it with us. Fuck it. Let's have a little bit of a walk down here and see what's the situation. Because it looks relatively quiet. To the point of even being able to hear those little neat 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 crickets out there. This I'd imagine is where it starts to get a little bit more dangerous. Although again, it's not looking too bad. I think if we were to leave first thing in the morning, there's one lot. We could probably have a nice casual walk home. Let's beat this guy up. Is it coming for us? Come on, little fella. Ah, die. <laughs> I'm sort of trying to listen out if I can hear any more of them, like in the trees or anything. 
so we don't get ambushed. <laughs> Thought I heard a rustle, but nothing. Nothing yet. There's a couple more. And then is that the main road? Is that the road we walked down to get home? I assume so. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? So we've got a couple. We've got two, four, and a bunch more down there. Any around this corner? That looks pretty secure. Let's see if we can kill a couple of these guys off. Be very cautiously killing zombies. Oh, we spazzed out. Oh, we almost got a bite on us. Fuck off. Get off, you fuck. God, he will not go down. <sighs> this is this is what we've got to fight through on our way home. We've now got a couple of them following us. <laughs> Jeez. They're tough little bastards, aren't they? It really is. One scary ass zombie game. When the zombies are this tough, any one of them could kill you at any moment. He almost got a bite in on us when he spazzed out that time, which would have been an absolute disaster. Because when you get bit, you'd never know whether you've been infected or not. So the only way to find out is to heal yourself up and wait and see if you turn into a zombie or not. Anyway, that's two of them out of the way. Let's see if we can get the attention of this one. Sort of slowly work our way towards him. I guess the more of these we can take out now, the, the easier our walk home will be. If he'll fucking die, that is. There we go. Oh god, and we are... We've got a lot of exertion. We need to go. We need to go sit down for a few minutes. Whew. What do I was so tired all of a sudden? So that's the other worrying thing. We don't want to be too tired if we can help it. We might have to sacrifice something, leave something behind. Maybe. Do we need that battery? Probably not. I don't think we need the sheet of paper at all. In fact, let's drop that right now. And let's... Yeah, fuck it. We don't need a battery. How's that? 12.75. God damn, we're carrying a lot of shit. We've only got the one trowel. And PK fertilizer we definitely want. We definitely want the axes... See, we definitely want all this shit. I'm not willing to sacrifice any of it, to be honest with you. We can take our pants off, take our shoes off, save some weight. Now I'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's good for us anyway. It's good doing a little bit of exertion. It'll help us with the old skill points one way or another. We've got 52 XP to go till we get to Carpenter level 2. Uh, I reckon we could have a quick rest on this chair. Not a sleep as such, just a rest. And we could even plank up the window in here. Just as something to do with our time. We could plank up the window and it's a nice secure little shelter then as well. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. 
Uh, let's skip forward till our exertion goes. I'm still carrying too much, but, you know, what can you do? I suppose we've got to try and tire ourselves out so that we can sleep for the night. Uh, let's get... Oh, it does require a bit of fanning about. We could get the saw out. Drop the hiking bag. We need the hammer as well. Oh, fuck it. It's too much like hard work. I literally can't be asked. Uh, instead... If we sleep for eight hours, okay, and we want to be up at six in the morning, we need to go to bed at ten. So we need to find something to do till ten o'clock. Because then we can leave at six a.m. I think that's the best time to leave. Because then we can, we'll probably get all the way home, basically. Oh, we can do some fo No, we don't want to do some foraging. I was going to say we do some foraging, but what's the point? You know what I mean? Because that does tire us out, but then it also gives us an inventory full of crap. I guess we could dump the crap. Yeah, fuck it. Can we forage here? We can. Dig with hands. Wow, mate, into your hands. Let's do some foraging. Because that may well get us some XP, and it will also increase our foraging skill. Um, and we'll just dump the crap that it gives us, I guess. Because I'm guessing once you get foraging up, I mean, there's like there's like ten levels of foraging. You must be able to forage like food and shit, uh, or just useful stuff. Did that give us anything? I don't think it did. Let's forage again. I suppose it's, it's a good enough way to tire ourselves out for tonight. And we're safe enough here that we can just fast forward while we do it. Just keep going. Literally has found nothing. <laughs> and he's getting hungry, but that's fine. We're going to eat that big-ass pineapple. Come on, forage. Forage for all you're worth. He's drowsy. Good, good. We've got some chipstone, some tree branches. Which are actually fairly good for making axes out of, but we're going to leave them anyway. Let's drop them and the chip stones. Uh, what time is it? Forage again. Might as well forage until we're exhausted. I don't want that chip stone. We've got a little bit of XP out of it as well. That's not too bad. Now, guys, getting nice and tired. Oh, there we go. He's really tired now. This is it. We can go sleep till six a.m. We're exerted. We're tired. We're hungry. This is an ideal situation, I think. Right, we want to... Do I want to eat first or sleep first? I feel like I probably should eat first. And then sleep. For 11 hours? Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 3 hours. No. 9 hours. Sleep for 9 hours. I think that'll do it. Time-wise? <laughs> We're still carrying too much weight. <laughs> Literally nothing else we can do to get rid of the extra weight. Uh, it's 6am. It is pretty much 6am. I just want to quickly see if there's any food in here before we go. Because if we could eat ourselves up, that would be fucking great. Um... I don't think there is, is there? I don't think there's any fucking food there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go home. We're going to make our way back to our home, get that level 2 carpentry and start increasing our uh, carpentry skills by making various bits and pieces around the house. However, that's next episode. For now, I'm going to leave it here, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.